What happened here at Kent State University 50 years ago defined an age. The guardsmen opened fire on the students. 67 shots. At an anti-Vietnam War protest, four dead, nine injured. I've never been able to just completely forget it. Student photographer Howard Ruffner was on the hill that day. His picture soon appeared in Life magazine, including this dramatic cover. I didn't know if he was alive or dead. And you look at him, he, he doesn't look like he's going to live. The young man fighting for his life, freshman John Cleary, was shot walking to class. I was shot in the chest, uh, you know, one or two inches in one direction, I wouldn't be here. Events that penned an anthem by singer Neil Young. Polls at the time showed most Americans blamed the demonstrators, not the guard. It's such a juxtaposition. John Cleary has spent his life moving beyond it. It's a snapshot of one moment of time, and I didn't want that to define me. Today on campus, scars, bullet holes, markers for the dead. How do you feel standing here now looking at this spot? I get shivers. As Kent State prepares to mark the anniversary, Howard and John meet for the first time. Pleasure to finally meet oh, you because it really is. We, we New bonds from the darkest of days. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Kent State University. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.